after two long months of waiting, the wait is finally over. One of my favorite Rome Project Alexa is back with its latest version 3.7 and I'm super excited to explore its new features and changes made in this update. In this video, I'll be sharing my honest opinion on Project Alexa 3.7. And I have installed this ROM on my Redmi Note 8 device which is running on Android version 13. And this ROM has latest Quicksilver kernel used. We'll be taking a deep dive into every aspect of this ROM from performance, benchmark to impressive customizations. And also I have found one major bug in this ROM that we'll discuss later in this video. And of course we'll compare it with its previous build so that you can exactly see what's new and most importantly i'll be sharing my honest thoughts on whether this new update is worth installing with any new improvements or it's a downgrade from the previous version so be sure to stick around until the end of the video so let's start the video user experience First off, let's talk about user experience. Project Alexa Roam offers a clean and simple interface that is responsive and easy to use. The interface feels smooth and I didn't notice any major lags or shutters while navigating through the system. One minor issue that I did notice is a slight delay when pulling down the quick setting panel but this is a common issue with most custom ROMs running on the latest Android 13 and it does not affect the overall experience much. And when it comes to app opening and closing speed, Project Alexa is quite impressive. Especially considering that I'm running it on my Redmi Note 8 device, it's not the fastest ROM out there, but it's definitely faster than most of the yeah. other custom ROMs available for this phone. Now we want to hear from you. Have you tried Project Alexa 3.7? What do you think of the user experience? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Google Photos Stories. Moving on to the Google Photo app, there's one feature that truly sets it apart, unlimited storage for all your photos and videos. This means you can upload and store all your precious memories without ever having to worry about running out of space on your device. It's a game-changing way to enhance the user experience by removing storage limitations and allowing you to capture and preserve every moment without any concerns. Launcher now let's talk about the launcher in Project Alexa ROM. This ROM comes with the launcher 3, but unlike other custom ROMs, it does not rename the launcher. However, this does not affect the overall user experience as the launcher works smoothly and offers a range of essential and unique customizations. In the launcher's home setting, there have been a few minor changes. For example, the dark status bar option has been removed from the general section of the home setting in this version. On the other hand, a new option called Music Search has been added to the search bar section which was not available in the previous build. Moving on to new features, the recent section has undergone some changes as well. Previously, there were two sections, General and Quick Actions. However, they have been merged into a single section in this update. Scroll Vibration and Lock App options have been removed, but a new and interesting option called Sake Phone to Clear All Task has been added. This option clears all recent apps by shaking your phone and works in most cases. I first saw this option on Dorface Roam, which was 13 days ago, but I'm not sure which Roam included it first. Now many other Roams are including this feature, which is a good thing. In addition to the mentioned features, the Roam also comes with the miscellaneous section, which includes a use taskbar option. This option displays a taskbar at the bottom of the footer section and the taskbar has been improved. You can now make it appear by simply swiping up from the bottom and it disappears by swiping it down. This feature is really helpful for multitasking as it allows for easy app switching. Also, a restart option has been added which helps you restart the launcher and apply any pending settings. You can also use this option in case you are using the use taskbar feature. However, the hidden and protected apps option that was present in the previous build has been removed and is not available anywhere in this room. This is a major downside for me as it's one of the most have features in any room. Camera Moving on to the camera, this room comes with the aperture camera which was also present in its previous build. The camera app offers a range of features including photo, video and scan mode and we haven't encountered any issues while using it. 
Overall, the camera app on this ROM is reliable and offers a good set of features that can help you capture some great shots. However, it's not the most advanced camera app out there and if you're looking for more advanced features, you might want to consider using a third-party camera app. Wallpapers and Styles Let's talk about wallpapers and styles section in Project LXR ROM. While there aren't many changes made in this section, there are still a few noteworthy updates. The basic color option now includes three new multicolor gradient options, which can add a nice touch of color to your device interface. However, the custom themed icon option that was previously available in this section is no longer available, which may be a downside for some users. Apart from that, you can still choose from the same 44 different fonts and you can set the maximum grid size to 6 into 10, which provides enough space for arranging your app icons on the home screen. Quick settings. Moving on to the quick settings panel, it is designed to provide quick and easy access to frequently used features and settings. The layout is clean and simple with tiles that are easily accessible. While it does not come with a lot of fancy tiles, it provides some of the most useful ones for daily use, such as extra dim, scan QR code, dark theme, and calculator. And every tiles are working smoothly. Display setting. Let's take a look at the display setting section of Project LXR ROM. After comparing it to the previous build, I haven't noticed any significant changes. You still have the same options for adaptive brightness and extra dim, which can be useful for conserving battery life. If you scroll down, you'll find the dark theme mode, just like in the previous version. However, you won't find any custom themes available here. Instead, you will need to enter the essence section if you want to use custom themes. Overall, there isn't much difference in the display setting section between this and the previous build. Battery. Moving on to the battery settings, I have to say that I'm impressed with the cool animated battery bar that displays the current battery percentage of your device. However, there is one option that I always expect to find in the battery settings and that is the battery percentage option. In most rooms, you have to go through different menus to enable this option which is a hassle and time consuming. It's a crucial feature related to battery life and should be included in the battery setting exclusively. On the other hand, I was a bit disappointed to see the battery health overlay added in this build. To be honest, it's not showing anything useful and seems like a pointless feature to include. As someone who really likes this ROM, I had higher expectations. I feel disappointed as they included a feature that does not work as expected. But as always, I like to share my honest thoughts with my viewers. Also, on a positive note, if you're looking to extend your device battery life, you can enable the extreme battery saver feature from the battery saver section. Security Let's talk about the security settings of this room. The good news is that it offers both fingerprint and face unlock options, providing users with flexibility and convenience in securing their devices. However, I personally no longer have a fingerprint wire on my phone, so I couldn't test the functionality of this feature, but it's available for those who have it. Gestures One of the handy features of this room is the gesture settings that can be found in the system setting. You will find the same set of gestures available as in the previous build, including the swipe to screenshot option, which works without any issues. However, the only downside is that after taking a screenshot, you only have options to share, edit or delete it. The short lens option which was previously available and useful for many users is unfortunately no longer present. This is something I mentioned in my previous video on Project Alexa 3.6 and it's definitely not a positive change. Xiaomi Parts and OTA Updater Xiaomi Parts and OT Updater are two additional features you'll find in this room. Xiaomi Parts provides various options to enhance your device performance such as the MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration, etc. These features can help you customize your device audio and display settings to your liking. On the other hand, the Alexa Updater option allows you to check if any new updates are available for the room. This is a convenient feature that saves you time from having to manually check for updates. I have also made a separate video about the truth of OTA updater available in custom rooms where I tested it using Project Alexa room. 
you can find the link to this video in the description section below essence one of the coolest feature of the project like xyro room is the essence section it's where you can customize various sections of your device according to your preference including themes lock screen status bar quick settings gestures and miscellaneous with essence you'll have tons of options to personalize your device and make it truly yours now i didn't explain every single setting in essence one by one because that would take forever and honestly most of the settings are similar to those found in other android 13 rooms but trust me you won't be disappointed with the customization options available in essence However, if you are interested in exploring all these settings, then I have made a separate video on that where I had explained each and every setting of a C Android room in simple language so that anyone can understand. So you can find that link of that video in the description section below. And while using this room, I came across a serious bug. Whenever I try to access the lock screen, the room would send me back to the main menu. And even when I could access them, the lock screen would often crash. This is a serious issue that should be addressed as soon as possible, as it prevents users from fully customizing their lock screen experience. Safety net test. This safety net compatibility test checks if the room meets Google's security standard to ensure sensitive apps like banking and payment apps and can run securely on the device. I am glad to say that this ROM passed the test and is safe to use. Plus, you can find the Play Protect certification level on the Google Play Store app, indicating that the device meets Google security requirements and can access apps that require a certified device. So you can be confident that your device is secured and protected. Antutu Benchmark Score Let's wrap up this review by looking at the Antutu benchmark score for this project Alexar room. The score achieved by this room is 206168, indicating a commendable performance. However, upon comparing it to the earlier version of project Alexar 3.5, we observe a significant improvement in this new version, with a score of 204882 for the previous build. This enhancement is indicative of an improved overall performance of the current room. Conclusion In conclusion, the Project Alexa 3.7 ROM is a stable and smooth option for users looking to customize their Android devices. While there are some small changes and customizations added in this update, some settings have been removed as well. One of the best inclusion in this update is the battery percentage feature, which is a basic but important addition. Additionally, the Seek to Clear All Tasks feature is a new and useful feature added to the ROM and also has better benchmark score than previous build. However, there are also some downside to this update. The search lens option is no longer available when taking screenshots and the hidden and protected apps feature has been removed and the bug that we get in the lock screen setting is also a downside of this version. Overall, the Project Alexa 3.7 ROM delivers a good performance, smoothness and overall user experience. It's worth noting that there are only minor improvements from the previous build. So, users may want to weigh the pros and cons before deciding to upgrade. Nonetheless, if you are looking for a custom ROM with the latest April 2023 security patch, this ROM is definitely worth considering. Despite some changes to the customizations and features, the performance, speed, battery backup and overall smoothness of this ROM remain top-notch. So, go ahead and give it a try if you are interested in exploring the latest updates and changes in this ROM. So what do you think about this room? Let me know your thoughts and experience about this room in the comment section below. And if you like our video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.